Hi everyone, it is Jean and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So this is going to be one of my messy desk episodes, but I didn't want to miss spending some time with you today. I have a few updates. So this is the story. Yesterday, I had gotten myself so anxious about going to see the social security doctor that it got to the point where I just was, my anxiety was like through the roof. So last night, about nine o'clock, I asked my son if he would bring me some ice cream. And I'm not lactose intolerant or anything like that. And he brought me some ice cream and I had my ice cream and I watched a couple of videos and I went to bed. Well, I got up this morning about 7 a.m. or so and I started to feel really bad and I don't know if it was a combination of the anxiety that I was feeling or a combination you know along with the ice cream maybe that wasn't the best thing to eat that late at night um but anyway I wasn't able to go to my appointment. So I called them right away and told them the situation. Well, they wanted to push me back until the end of October. And I didn't want to wait that long because this is like the final step in the decision making process. So I decided that I call. I asked my husband, my dear husband, and you know he's not been super well. I asked him if he would take me if I got an appointment tomorrow, and he said yes. And I'm really funny. I love my son to pieces. I trust him. I have no issues whatsoever with my son. He's 18. He's very responsible, but I just don't, I guess after being married for almost 30 years to my husband, I just don't like to go anywhere without him. And it causes me anxiety. And I didn't I didn't want to feel that way. And my mom kept encouraging me and, you know, other people. But anyway, so I'm going tomorrow. And um, I'm glad that I called back and made an appointment for for the next day. And there, there was an opening because I didn't want to wait forever. So that's the story about that. And what I was doing today is I, my friend Yolanda, she brought me all these um, f florals and I didn't really know what to do with all of them. But the other day, Gabriel, my son, was going to go to his friend's um, it's like a luau party, kind of, for their, um, engagement, and he said something to me about making a lay, and I said, yes, I can make one. He says, well, can you do it in, like, 20 minutes? And I said, I think I could possibly do that. So I hurried and um, tried to make him a lay. And he's like, Mom, it's really, I just better go. And he said, thank you. And um, he went ahead without me making the lay, which was fine, perfectly fine. 
So, um, I had all these flowers that I had torn apart and needed to do something with them. So today I made just some really pretty florals that you can put on your journals. I have some, I, I've only done pink ones so far because those were the ones that I tore apart for Gabriel. So I also have these and I've took, taken some of them apart and they look pretty nice. What I was looking for was a button that I know I just saw here a minute ago. It's probably underneath everything. Okay, here it is. But um, I wasn't going to put a button in the middle of this one. I put this little greenery on it. I don't know what it looks like, but you know, it's, it's it's kind of like there are some uh, some florals that you can get that are really quite stunning that almost look like real flowers or even you can't imagine they're not. And then there are ones that are on the, you know, not that I want to say cheap side, but the lesser attractive side. So I'm, oops, I kind of thought that with these that I put here in this one with the um, stars. It's starting to get dark and now I can't see. I should have videoed earlier, but Okay. Any hues? Any hues? Um, what I was trying to explain is that I liked these little florals because they reminded me, I mean, these little, um, pieces of foliage because they kind of remind me of succulents, but so I'm going to put the these little buttons in the middle and then they have felt on the bottom. So you could apply them to your journals. You know, if you wanted to make a really florally top and kind of frame an image, I think that would be beautiful. Or <clears throat> you can stick a pin on the back even and enjoy them that way. So we have this one and this one. And then we have this one here. It's a lot bigger. And then we have this one. It's more of a medium, medium size, but you can see where I put felt on the bottom. So those are so cute. So I had fun doing those. And basically all I do is I take all the plastic part out of the flower. Let me move this stencil. I don't need it right this minute. I take all of the, the inside out and then I just start layering different colors of flowers and um, the different sizes so that I can get different designs. So I layer and I like to put in some of the lighter colors. And I'm not sure if these will work. They're kind of just, they may. Let me see if I can take them apart. Sometimes when, uh, to take them apart, you really just have to cut the plastic piece so that they'll come apart easier. And then if you don't want that artificial looking stem right there or center, 
you can put it something like this, and then you can add buttons to them. You can add brads to them. I thought somewhere here close, I had some brads. And when you do that, then of course you have um, a really cool flower that you can use in your art. So, no brads over here. Hmm. Are there any in this one? Let me see. There aren't, but I made these a while back. I wonder how this would look. Kind of interesting. Not like, maybe we don't need that. And if we set it right down there in the middle. I like to play around with paper clay a little bit. So I had made these little molds. So you can use anything like that as a center. Buttons are usually what I end up using. Or if you have like some of these flat backs, they're really pretty to use as well. Now for something like this, you'd almost have to go with that kind of pink. That would be pretty. So there's different ways that you can make the centers and the different pieces for your, um, your flower creations. So I'm just gonna set these aside and then um, I was painting today. I just have a lot of, um, <clears throat> it's scrapbook paper, just sheets of scrapbook paper that's not in a book or anything. And I was trying to find a way to use some of it. And so I was painting it today. But I'm going to get out my flip-flop journal because I want to um, check something. So this was an envelope that was given to me by Francis. And I really want to use this in my journal. But I'm thinking that I'm not going to use it right on the front cover because I have this page that's rather plain and I think that it would go really nice in there. Also, I was thinking that these, one of these would be absolutely beautiful on the front of this. So if I put one of these on, let me see which one I like. I kind of like this one. If I put one of these on, I like this one with the richer red at the bottom, I think. Where will I put it? If I put it near the bottom, I could always use it as kind of a tuck spot. I'd have to see. But I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the bottom of this. And I'm sure it's going to look pretty. The journal itself has these colors in it. and I. Th but I th honestly think using more than one would be too, way too much. So... Okay, let's come out, Glow. Yeah, I think that's good. 
It gives me the opportunity to put some lace on the side. Let me see if I, because I kind of um, made a little boo-boo with this when I was folding it. So I think if I put this lace along the edge, you won't notice my mistake I made. I don't know why my glue's not coming out, but it's making, I don't, ever since I started using our glitter glue, <laughs> I don't like my three-in-one glue as much, but it does hold better, so. Let me see what will happen if I just use that. Okay, glue. You can come out any time now. So I hope you guys have had a good day. I got up really late because I didn't sleep well. But now, now I'm I'm just tired and I want to rest and get up and go to this appointment and have it be over and done with and that way I'll be they'll either approve me or deny me that hurts my hands pushing on that so hard I don't know why it's being a pain coming out let's see if there's enough on here for it to stick And this um, lace is gathered. So I'm going to add it flat. And then I will come back and probably put a smaller piece on top of it. So that it doesn't... Um, create an issue with the fact that it's gathered so because sometimes gathered can look although that looks really pretty on there just like that doesn't it as long as I get it straight I think it will look nice and that flower is just gorgeous on there so let me get the scissors that will cut. Somebody was asking what what um, art tool are we most thankful for? And um, me, I'm a pen, kind of like a, a pen snob. So anything that's a really good um, pen is something that's very important to me. But then I got to thinking, maybe I should have said scissors <laughs> because scissors are super important. So these were sent to me by Francis and I love this little paper clip. So I think I'm going to paper clip these right onto the front side right away for journaling and then I think I'm going to add her other envelope back here so there is the front with the flower I made today and this beautiful lace so that's the start of the flip-flop journal now the the idea of the flip-flop journal let me move these pages is that you can make it this way and then you can make it the opposite way. So you can share the designs on each side. 
So I'm going to work on one side, I think, at a time. And then um, I'll show you all what I've come up with. So there's a couple pieces here that I cut out of a mixed media journal book. And these pieces are done by Ramona Samuels. And I adore her style. And I love that she does um, a little bit of whimsical drawing. So I cut out some of her pieces and I thought they would look really nice um, as journaling cards. So I'm going to put some tabs or something on them. And then I have this really beautiful piece that I'm going to fold in half and make a little signature to go inside of the journal at some point. I also need, um, you know, and the way that this is designed for you is you can put a signature in each of these spaces if you want to as well. So this is going to be like a little addition to the journal itself, along with um, Ramona's uh, pieces here. I have to back them with something. And then I want to put a fabric tag on each of them. And then they will be very um, cute for journaling card. So I'm going to keep the title of Ramona's article so I can refer back to it. But anytime you get a magazine like Stampington or... Um, art journaling. You can use the things that are in there. You just always want to give credit to the artist. So I will keep this and her name will go somewhere in the book, whether I just kind of like run it on the inside of this little, um, Actually, I can do that right now. Let me just cut this. Oh, fiddle. Let me just cut this right here. And right here. And just cut a little tiny strip. And... That way I'll have her name and I will put it in the book, the little booklet. I'm just going to put it in with a little bit of um, stick glue if I have some here. Okay. And then I'm going to put it just right down here. That way I'll have a record of who made my images because my brain's not going to remember. So, so that's what I've done for today. Not anything um, too exciting. Just kind of relaxing and doing the flowers that were kind of calming and watching a few videos. And, you know, the world's crazy out there right now. So make sure that you're staying safe, that you always laugh. Don't let anyone dull your shine. And don't forget to leave me a comment and a... um question, anything, let me know where you're from. I love to see how far my channel is reaching. And as always, take good care. Bye for now.